Hey guys, I'm here in Fitzroy North conducting a post handover inspection for a client that has just moved in. The property has cost our client more than $2 million. The client believes that he has some minor defects. Let's dig a little deeper, see what $2 million plus can buy in Fitzroy North. Hmm, let's go. I was really looking forward for this inspection since this is a luxury apartment. Uh, I'm pretty sure it said welcome home. I have to admit that the exterior design is pretty good. Alright, let's go inside. This premium apartment consists of one common bathroom, a bedroom, another bedroom with its own ensuite, and a master bedroom with a master ensuite. The home's design was breathtaking. However, I could feel a spiritual entity, Orni, trying to communicate with me and tell me that something fishy is going on here. Hmm, thanks Orni. Let's go. The carpet installation was defective. Joins in carpet are defective if they peak fray or misalign and are visible from a normal viewing position. Let's enter our first bathroom and see what we can find. The bathroom walls were constructed from Caesar stone throughout. What a beautiful feeling. However, the design and functionality were nowhere to be seen. Unsecured fixtures and fittings were common throughout the property. The tops and bottoms of the internal and external doors must be sealed. After thermally scanning the home, I could not see any elevated moisture levels. However, Warney did mention water leaks. Let's use our penetrating moisture meter and see if we can get a reading. As suspected, elevated moisture levels were detected. As can be seen, swelling in the skirting was visible under critical lighting. Let's lift this carpet up and see what is going on there. After closely investigating this area, I could see previous attempts to rectify this leak. Traces of sealant were visible. This builder is sneaky. Unfortunately, further investigation into this home revealed two more water leaks. Let's go and enter the master bedroom. I must say, I am actually in love with these glass wardrobe doors. The ensuite looked good from far, but far from good. The sliding door already showed signs of wear and tear, and the homeowner 
has not even moved in yet. Stone Overcut was visible from a normal viewing position, and this little duckling is loving it. And more wobbly wobbly little fixtures. The bathtub was even wobbling the hell out of his duckling. Unbelievable. However, the builder had a smart idea and squeezed a bit of silicon to stop this wobbliness. I am simply flabbergasted at this finding. My little duckling is definitely not happy. The laundry tile trim, or should I say, a suspected water stop, had a nice lip of around 5 mil. This may be a tripping hazard. As suspected, the water stop does not return into the perimeter flashing. Other than that, the balcony looked pretty good. And the ducklings are going to love it. Since an outdoor pool was also thrown in. Till next time my friends, please like, share and follow for more videos.